Today, we see the market losing momentum on the verge of triggering a top signal. Now, you may ask, could this be what the market needs to materialize a sharper correction ahead, back to our support levels? And then, if it does, what should we do? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Welcome to the Finance Hydra channel. My name is Nathan. It's a pleasure to see you guys over here. And uh, yes, we see SPY dropping. It is making a bearish candlestick pattern today. However, if we take a closer look, we see long shadows below the candlestick's body today and yesterday as well, suggesting that there is still some strength especially short term speaking. When we take a look at the one hour chart, we see nothing more, nothing less than just another harmless pullback to the 21 hour EMA, the exponential moving average on the one hour chart, which is a technical support level for the SPY, short term speaking. Now, another pullback, the, up, the uptrend is still intact. But uh, you may ask, but Nathan, what if we lose this moving average support? What if we materialize a stronger bearish candlestick pattern on the daily chart? Then, all right, then we could correct to our next support levels, which are first 586, the previous top level, which was a support level over here on November 6th, and uh, the 21 day EMA, the exponential moving average on the daily chart as well, making this area a double support level. Any pullback to this double support level could be just another buying opportunity if we see a bullish reaction materializing around this support level. Remember, my friends, buy near support levels sell near resistance levels, all right? Many people do the inverse. They buy near resistance levels and they sell when it is dropping near support levels, especially when the risk reward ratio is optimized because when, when we make a bottom signal around the support level, it is just another buying opportunity, all right? Especially when the trend is still intact. So as far as I'm aware, any pullback to this double support level, isn't going to ruin the uptrend, it could present just another buying opportunity. But then you may ask, but Nathan, what if we don't see any bullish reaction around this double support level? What if SPY continues to drop? In this scenario, we're going to trigger a sharper correction on the weekly chart. All right, in this case, our major support level is 565, which is very close to the 21 week EMA over here. So there is another double support level on the weekly chart around 565. Only if we lose all of our mid term support levels, we're going to trigger a sharper correction of this magnitude. So far, the situation is still under control. We have yet to technically reverse the uptrend on the one hour chart. So so far, so good. Tomorrow, we, tomorrow we're going to have more answers. Now, the QQQ also shows long shadows below the candlestick's bodies over here. We see that the bullish momentum is still intact on the one hour chart. But uh, again, if we lose the moving average, the hourly moving average, if we make a sharper, stronger, bearish candlestick pattern on the daily chart, then all right we are going to trigger a sharper correction on the daily chart. In this scenario, we have many, many support levels that could hold the prices. For instance, $503, the previous top level over here, supposed to act as a future support level. Another technical key point is the 500s, which is a psychological support level very close to the 498, another major resistance level that the QQQ broke over here on November 6, in addition to the 21 day EMA, which is another technical support level. So there are many, many support levels. This area, this area is going to be a very, very strong support level for tech stocks. It is not going to be easy to lose all of these key points. Uh, the SPY would have to face a very, very problematic scenario in order to actually reverse this mid-term bullish bias from a technical point of view. Nathan, what if we do? What if we do lose all of these support levels? 
477, which is very close to the 21 week EMA as well. In the worst case scenario, we could drop all the way down to retest the support line of this ascending channel on the weekly chart. This is not gonna ruin the, the long term uptrend over here, but uh, we would certainly reverse the mid term bullish bias seen on the daily chart. So far, we are still making higher highs, higher lows. There is no need to worry, but uh, we could see a pullback to the 500s again, all right? So let's be aware of the price action right here, right now. And how this is gonna affect our dear beloved stocks? Well, when we take a look at Nvidia, for instance, <laughs> this one is going up more than 2% today, all right? It is it is going against the broad market. But uh, if we see the indices collapsing, most likely Nvidia will also correct, all right? It could easily correct to the 21 day EMA and uh, still the bullish bias would remain intact. But uh, in order for us to do that, we need to lose the 144 previous top level acting as a support level right now, another classic example of how the principle of polarity in technical analysis work, all right? So 144 is going to be our major support level for now. We are trying to go up, all right? We are trying to uh, recover, but uh, it is not a meaningful recovery. And uh, as long as we see the indices making bearish reactions, uh, I would be very, very careful around this area. Of course, guys, guys, you will always, always find a reason to, to feel stressed, to feel anxious in this market. For instance, when stocks are going down, everybody's panicking, everybody's saying that the market is bearish. It is very dangerous right now, so let's be careful because it is dangerous. Now we are going up. Oh no, it is going up too much. All right, it is dangerous. If we see a pullback, if we see a pullback, this pullback is going to be very, very catastrophic catastrophic it is going to be a sharp one so let's be careful the situation is dangerous all right guys it is going to be dangerous only if you don't have a crystal clear trading strategy all right as long as you don't know where your target where your stop loss how to enter how to buy stocks of course the situation will always be dangerous and uh well remember our mentoring program starts very soon and the applications will open tomorrow it will be six weeks with meetings with me in person where i will personally carefully analyze your investments your trades and uh, we are gonna design a trading plan just for you all right i will personally guide you through this market and uh, at the end, you will be able to use all the tools and the knowledge you have learned with mastery. It is going to be fantastic. So just take a look at our website, link in the video's description and uh, leave your email over there to be quickly notified uh, when registration opens, all right? So just, just take a look at our website. Now, Tesla, collapsing only 6%, right? This is Tesla, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tesla. Guys, Tesla is a high beta stock. What does this mean? It means that its movements are going to be very intense and very volatile. This happens all the time, even when the movements, they don't seem that incredible. For instance, for instance, here, here, right here. All right, Tesla went up uh, 42%, right? 42% and then Tesla corrected, uh, 15%. And then Tesla went, Tesla went up again, uh, 61% just to drop 32% <laughs> again. All right. So these movements, they happen all the time from the previous bottom to the latest top Tesla went up right now. 69% roughly, all right? So what if we see pullback? What if we see Tesla correcting? It could easily correct down to our next support levels. The problem is our next support levels are quite far away from the price and that Tesla is a very volatile stock. And if we see Tesla dropping, to, Tesla dropping to the 21 day EMA again, that represents a 17% drop roughly, all right? So guys, 
it is it is a volatile stock it is a perfect stock for trading purposes but uh it is gonna be very annoying for some people especially for those who are not prepared for this volatility of course the five percent project bought over here all right more details just take a look at our website we just bought this bottom signal again buy near support levels sell near resistance level that's that's a very good strategy to follow a very simple one there is no mistake it is not rocket science right now we are trying to make a top signal nathan is this a good reason to short tesla well that's extremely extremely reckless right now because when tesla starts going up it is it is a it is a true bear killer all right i don't advise unless of course you have a very solid trading strategy who, who am i to who am i to disagree to to disagree if you have a crystal clear solid trading strategy which is a very important step in your trading journey so so far I believe, uh, in my personal experience, I don't like short selling in this scenario, but uh, if we see pullback, well, maybe we're gonna see another buying opportunity. Who knows, right now, our most important support levels are $313, and of course, the $300 as well. We we also have the 21-day EMA below the price, but... Uh, I believe these support levels are more important, especially short term wise. Right now, yes, we are dropping, but uh, we just see another pullback to the 21 hour EMA. So the bullish bias is still totally intact, despite today's drop of 6%, as crazy as this sounds, right? Some people don't, some people have a very hard time in understanding how this works. You may see pullbacks while we are maintaining the uptrend that's totally plausible from a technical point of view these movements are great they are the best but uh right now yes we see a short-term pullback nathan what if we keep dropping what if we lose what if we lose the moving average on the one hour chart or maybe maybe even the 313 dollars support level which was a previous resistance level over here from september 2022 wow a that, that was a long time ago well if we lose this support area then all right we are gonna probably trigger a sharper correction to lower support levels and then we'll see how to proceed all right so far the uptrend is still intact amd is looking for our support level right this purple trend line over here any bullish reaction near this purple trend line could be just another buying opportunity right now do we see a very nice buying opportunity of course not we are just dropping there is not a single bullish reaction suggesting a bottom signal right now if we do see one great but right now we don't remember trading is reactive not predictive we can't predict the future but we can react properly to the signs we see right here right now and the right here right now no bottom signal on amd do we see a top signal on palantir we could see one all right we could let me be honest with uh with you guys we could but uh because yesterday yesterday we had this candlestick pattern a doji candlestick pattern when we take a look at smaller time frames we also see a pullback to the 21 hour ema that's totally normal but uh, if tomorrow or in the next couple of days we see palantir losing yesterday's low november 11 and closing below its low we could see an evening star doji pattern forming over here suggesting a sharper correction to our next support level which is the 21 day ema period very simple situation in the in the absence in the lack of a crystal clear bearish reaction the bullish bias will just persist all right so again very simple situation let's see if palantir will respect its most important uh, short-term support level around yesterday's low now broadcom this one is having a very hard time in breaking the 185 resistance level we already identified this key point over here a few weeks ago right now if you ask me we see this support line connecting the previous bottom levels 
on Broadcom. We see the major resistance level at 185. If we see an upwards breakout of the 185, it is going to be just fantastic. Broadcom is going to resume the bullish bias and possibly seek much, much higher levels. However, if we lose the, the 165, we could correct all the way down to retest this purple trend line again and then we'll see how Broadcom will react because if we do respect this purple trend line and uh, materialize a bullish signal above the support level it is going to be just incredible but for now we need to wait for more confirmation we need to wait for a breakout of one of these two key points in the next few days and the micro strategy you guys are worried about this one which uh, which went up 25 percent yesterday right now it is going up five percent roughly well do we see a top signal suggesting a possible pullback no do we see any alarming signal do we see any bearish reaction any technical evidence suggesting that micro strategy will correct from here no so far no not at all on the one hour chart we don't even see pullback to the 21 hour ema so we are still very very bullish there is not a single bearish reaction right now so in theory this stock is supposed to seek higher levels as long as as long as we don't see a crystal clear top signal suggesting a reversal remember my friends trends persist until a clear reversal occurs dow theory tenant number six all right do we see a clear reversal no so this uptrend is supposed to persist maybe of course maybe we're gonna see a top signal tomorrow or in the next few days but right now today we don't and this is why you should subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber yet because i'm here every single day keeping you guys updated on spy qqq nvidia tesla amd palantir broadcom micro strategy sofi super microcomputer and the many many other stocks so subscribe Click the like button to support me as well. Take a look at our website if you have any interest in joining our mentorship program. Places are limited, all right? So join us right now. Thank you very much for your audience, my dear friends. Stay safe. See you guys tomorrow.